Uh, hello there, fellow astronomy buffs and users. So I'm going uh, to do a short little video here on power management uh, and in one particular area, and it has to do with uh, AC power and uh, your devices and equipment that run on, you know, 12 volt and are powering to need, uh, uh, need, need electricity uh, at the mount. So, uh, so this is my uh, Celestron AVX mount and I've got a Skywatcher EOSTAR 80ED riding on top of that. And uh, on my mount, I do have uh, a power strip, as you can see, just uh, quick tied onto the leg. And that works very well. It's got a nice long uh, power cord. So I usually set this up in my driveway and uh, use a long extension cord to power this up. And um, so uh, I need power. Uh, I do have a uh, you know, little talent cell that I have a Velcro on the back and then a Velcro strap to keep it on there available uh, if I need that. But uh, whenever I'm doing any imaging, uh, I need uh, power for, uh, you can see right there, I've got a uh, powered USB hub. I've got my uh, ZWO um, ASI 120 MM Mini guide camera uh, that needs power. And um, of course that's plugged into the USB hub. That is a powered USB hub because I want to make sure that every port has the uh, has all the power that it needs uh, for the for the transfer rates uh, with that. So I need power for my USB hub. Of course, I've got my mount itself. So I've got the power jack there, and I'll usually plug that into my power strip. But if you have other things like a you know a laptop or something else that you need, um, then I can just um, use this. And this is this is uh, pretty good here. Kind of standard what I get see guys using. Uh, it was just a power strip, quick tied on there. Uh, sometimes they use Velcro. I like the quick ties. I got a bunch of quick ties and I have a pair of uh, new wire cutters in my uh, toolbox. So if I need to move something, I can just cut those, uh, cut those off. But the problem that you have when you use this and you have um, devices like a dew heater or maybe like a, uh, you know, the power for the uh, USB hub or anything else is that you have these. So everybody's seen these, right? They plug into the wall, obviously, but this is the transformer for whatever they plug into that converts from 120 uh, AC to the 12 volt DC and then whatever, you know, amp that these are uh, they're required. Uh, but the problem is, is that the way they're designed, as you can see, if I put them in the top slot in there, that this thing takes up three outlets. So one for the adapter, and then there's two that are hidden. And so those two are not even usable. And then if you have a second one, then it's like, well, you can go here and, you know, put it down there and have it hang over and maybe have a couple left on that. So this is always a problem. Uh, with these crazy things here um, on the way that they're designed uh, with that. I understand you got to have the, you know, the electronics inside to do the conversion because it's just a straight, you know, this in this case is just a straight all the way to the connector, whatever it connects into and stuff. So what I had found on Amazon is a little 8-inch little extension cords. So I can now just plug in the little 8-inch extension cord, and then I can plug in my, get this here two-handed, then you can plug in your right uh, adapter power source into that, and you can use all of your outlets on your power strip uh, with that. So I got these at, um, like I said, on Amazon. These are little eight inch. I got a pack of 10. And uh, so that'll that'll give me plenty on these. These things are stout. They are not 
uh, flimsy at all. They're very uh, heavy duty, very thick. It's got uh, a three wire, three plug with the ground on both sides on that. They're not flimsy at all. They're very stout. You can see how this one carries the load here uh, with that. But these are, this is a great way to be able to just plug in these. And then if you have a device like this, you can just plug it in there and you don't lose uh, outlets uh, with that. So um, that is a fantastical kind of way to work around uh, uh, around your, your power management if you're using uh, power strips. Because I see some guys on their rigs have to have two power strips, one on each leg, just because of these things here taking up, you know, two or three uh, outlets. They're only able to put in two uh, two plugs, maybe three to, on there, and they have more that they need to use. So they'll have to use, you know, hang something on another uh, another leg on that. So um, I will put the description uh, or link uh, to these on Amazon on there. And uh, like I said, this is a 10 pack. I think there's others, you know, if you only want four or something on that, but you know, this is like 10 bucks for all of them. Very, very cheap, short money came pretty quick uh, here. I think it may have come out of uh, Florida. I'm in uh, Louisiana. So uh, quick delivery on those. And uh, I think, uh, I don't know about this weekend, uh, weather-wise, but uh, the following week, be able to uh, put these in, uh, in good use. So there you go.